Getty Zinedine Zidane is looking to win a third European Cup in as many seasons as Real Madrid manager the Reds are known for 20-minute bursts of high-energy attacking football which few defenses can deal with, having scored at least five goals in all of their two-legged knockout ties against Porto, Manchester City and Roma. With 44-goal winger Mohamed Salah spearheading a 90-goal front three alongside Roberto Firmino and Sadio Main, Liverpool are the top scorers in this season's Champions League with 46 since the playoff round. Real Madrid have their own attacking threats, namely Cristiano Ronaldo who has scored 15 goals in Europe alone this term and are in their third consecutive final. But the tie in Kiev is finely poised given each side's respective attacking strengths and defensive vulnerabilities and Zidane is aware that they cannot stifle Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool for the entire game, you need to work out how the opposition can hurt you and try to control that, the Frenchman warned. Getty Cristiano Ronaldo is looking to score in a fourth winning final and claim his fifth Champions League Jitazine Dine Zidane watches on as his charges train ahead of today's final get I Mohamed Salah is one of Liverpool's chief threats there are always moments of madness in games and it's a case of trying to suffer as little as possible when out of possession and do damage when we attack. Zinedine Zidane, when in possession we'll have to attempt to hurt the opposition, whilst bearing in mind the way they play, on the counter-attack, there are always moments of madness in games and it's a case of trying to suffer as little as possible when out of possession and do damage when we attack, we'll have to dig in, there's no question about that, Real Madrid's starting lineup is up for debate with Karim Benzema, Gareth Bale and Isco all hopeful of a spot dependent on which system Zidane decides to operate with. And the 45-year-old, looking to become the first manager to win three European Cups in a row, gave little away as to his plans, Sergio, Ramos and Marcelo are definitely going to play. I'm the one who gets lumbered with making the decisions, Zidane continued, all of my players are very good and many of them will not make the squad, whilst others will be on the bench, we think only as a team and when the whistle blows, everyone will be right behind the team, we're a tight-knit group. A player who starts the game on the bench can bring something to the side and be an important player, but picking your team is the worst thing for a coach, there are some players that will keep their place in the team and others that won't play, but the players know that and it's my responsibility. It's one I've got to accept.